Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interestinglife.com. You're joining me out here at the canal on an absolutely gorgeous day. It's about it's getting on for six o'clock in the evening now, and it's so beautiful and bright and sunny that as you can probably tell, the camera can't even deal with it in the background. So what better way to spend half an hour, 45 minutes or so, than getting the old life jacket on, hopping in the kayak and paddling around on the canal for a bit. Although I should point out, technically, this is specifically stated as not a life jacket. It's a personal buoyancy aid. <laughs> right, let's get in. Right then, time to business. Sorry about that random, very specific correction to myself there, but I've always found it fascinating how it specifically says this is not a life jacket, which I don't know what the technical reasons and legal reasons behind that are, but it's something I've just always thought is a little bit odd that it specific specifically says what it isn't rather than what it is. So, as we had a quick look up at the moon there, it's always a good sign to have the sun and the moon in the sky, and what a sky for it to be in. This is Bridge 3W that you might have seen in my previous videos in the past, where I've been stood up there with my little notebook and diary writing, and again, this is one of those bridges that every now and then I like to do a video on, just because it sort of so beautifully sums up their absolute inherent just just everything that you imagine about a canal, a humpback bridge in the middle of nowhere, as I say about so many of these bridges, because it's what most of them are, really. There's no proper road to or from it, and it is just farmland, and these random canals cutting through, like, well, I don't really know what, like, as I was going to say, a scar, but that's definitely not the right term for something as beautiful as this. But ultimately, when I look at these videos that I do, and look at these moments where I literally chuck the kayak in off the back of the boat. So I'm recording this uh, voiceover on the boat at the moment. You might hear there's a boat coming through in the background and hear some uh, general scraping and stretching of ropes and the rest of it. But as we travel down here, this, as I get back on track, this is what inherently I can't really ever explain what it's like to just be able to literally throw a kayak into the canal off the top of your boat and then just paddle around like this in the evening. And it's something that I do for so often and so many times these days. Well, certainly when the weather's like this, not when it's um, in some of the less fortunate uh, weather conditions that we've had not too much of recently, given that it's April and the April showers and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's just great. And again, I've been so lucky to actually be able to do this and do it as I say and Again, I've said this so many times, just at the age of 25 to have me both. I've said in the past, in fact, when I first got the kayak, that I really do wish, as you can see, my pirate flag has unfurled itself and started to hang across the window there. But I wish that I'd have had the kayak almost years and years before I even had the idea of the boat as being able to just go down from my friends at Western Rin, for example, carry a kayak down there and then chuck it in the canal and paddle about. Oh, it would have been fantastic and I can't imagine over the summer how many miles I would have been putting in just on the kayak alone. You can see there I was very keen to pull over to the side and let that boat have all the canal it wants to go past. It's an odd thing to actually be in a boat. I've just been reminded by uh, this little clip of us actually travelling past boats. When you're actually on a boat and somebody goes past past in a kayak because you obviously don't hear the kayak itself you just hear voices approach and assume that it's on the towpath side and then if you look it out through the window you'll suddenly find yourself face to face with just a human being sat just below your boat windows as you can see i'm wrestling here as i got the paddle caught up in the thorn bush there the wind which you're, we're about to see as we go past here it's unbelievable the distance and uh, the difference not distance the difference that the wind makes when you're paddling a kayak it's almost i suppose the same sort of concept as when you're biking into the wind it's a lot more difficult but obviously when you're just sat in an inflatable kayak on the uh, water what you're about to see now when i when the kayak turns here is literally just the wind pushing me this quickly and this fast away and over to the side 
So, I suppose, as we're here in the Frankton Basin, I will say thank you very much for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos for loads more stuff like this. Weekly boating, weekly biking, and a lot more walking and outdoors videos for the future. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to like the Facebook page or add me personally on Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to uh, support me on Patreon if you so wish. Feel free to check out my books available for the Kindle. Yes, I'm really going for it and trying to make this a full-time thing. Um, all the links to everything in the description below. Feel free to check them out or not as you wish. Until the next time though, keep it paddle worthy, keep it boat worthy and of course farewell.